I'm Caroline and I sew and blog. One thing that everybody asks me all the time when they find out that I know how to sew is, could you please add sleeves to a sleeveless dress for me? At first I used to say no, and then I figured out a system that is fast and easy. I made all the calculations easy and I can do it in five minutes for any dress or top. You see here, um, our two little sundresses that had sleeveless tops and I easily added these sleeves. This will work if it's a dress that you sewed or if it's a store-bought dress. And if when you go to, so when you go to pick fabrics, um, try and pick a fabric that is similar to the type and weight of the dress or the top. For example, these are woven and woven cotton. So I picked a simple solid woven cotton fabric for this sleeve and I matched it to the background color here of the dress. And on this one, I was able to pretty closely match the color of the dress to this also woven cotton. If you have a knit dress, this technique works for a knit fabrics also. But just try and match the type of fabric to the type of fabric on your dress. So let's do it. I have here some cotton fabric to go with this cotton fabric dress that I'd like to add a sleeve to this opening right here. The first step that you need to do is measure the opening. Now I measured this opening here and it is 18 inches around. Now all the instructions are on the website and there's also like a little worksheet where you can write these numbers down so you don't have to remember them. But I did measure around this and it was 18 inches. So the first line that I need to draw on my paper is half of that plus one inch because my seam allowances are going to be half inch. So I'm going to draw a line here on my paper that is 10 because it's half of 18 plus one inch. So using a black marker, I'm just gonna draw a line that is 10 inches. And then I'm gonna mark the center of the line right here just for my purposes. Now, the height of the sleeve right here is one third of this amount without the seam allowances. So if this was nine, the height is gonna be three, plus I'm going to add a half inch here for the seam allowance up here for my sleeve. Now, if this number is a 10 or an eight, not easily divisible by three, that's okay. Just round it up or down. This, this technique is very forgiving. So I decided that the height of my sleeve right here is going to be three and a half. Three plus a half inch for seam allowance. So right here at the center of the sleeve, I'll just extend my line up here. So this is three and a half, and this is 10 inches. Okay, I'm almost there. Now what I'm going to do, if you have a curved ruler, like a French curve, you can use that. I'm just gonna use this handy little lid that I have in my sewing room. And it's about twice the height of my sleeve, which makes it a nice big round curve for the sleeve. So I'll just draw the little line around, not all the way, and then I'll just kind of angle it out gently to the corner. As you see, this technique is very forgiving. Now, at home, I made this one. This is the same, and I cut it out. So we're going to use this one today. Now, one trick for making these sleeves curve nicely around the arm, you see here this is folded fabric. This is on the bias, and putting this fold on the bias just helps the fabric to curve nicely around the arm. So I have here a piece of fabric that's nine inches tall. You can use a quarter yard of fabric. And I'm going to fold it up like that so that this fold right here is on the bias. So let's bring the cutting mat over. I've got my fold here on the bias. I'll put my pattern down and I'm just going to cut that out. As you can see here, you can make this any size, you can do this. It's good for baby dresses or all the way up to women's sizes. And a quarter yard of fabric will cut sleeves just about any size. So. I just didn't cut through all the way. I'm just gonna cut it. All right, so here's my sleeve. 
You want to keep it cut on the fold. This is one sleeve here. And the next step is to, with your serger or your sewing machine, to just finish this edge. And you'll want two sleeves. So, you see here that I have one already finished and I already zigzag stitched it along here. You could also do a serger and then, so these two edges are finished together. Now I'm going to fold it in half and you see here that I marked, I marked the top of the sleeve. That's the center top of the sleeve right there. So now we're ready to attach it. This is just some double-sided sewing adhesive tape. It's kind of like sticky tape for sewing, but it washes away. And I'm just going to stick this on close to the edge. I love this. You could also use pins, but this just makes my job so much easier. Okay, now I just wanna make sure that the sewing adhesive, the tape here is Stuck on good. There we go. And then I'll peel the tape off carefully. You don't want the adhesive to come off. Peel the tape off and you can still see the mark where the center of the top of the sleeve is. So now I'm just going to use this, adhere this to the inside of my sleeve. And if you remember, my seam allowance is half an inch. So I'm just gonna place it inside the sleeve by about a half an inch. And it's very easy, very forgiving. See the adhesive? If it's not holding very well, you can use pins also to hold the sleeve in place. Okay, and now let's move over to the sewing machine and I'll sew this in. Now, there are two different ways to, to sew this into the dress. If the dress, like this one, already has a line of top stitching around the edge of the armhole, then you can just use your sewing machine and sew right on top of that and it, will, it won't show very much at all or it won't stand out. But, for example, if you have a lined dress or a face dress like this one where there is no top stitching around the armhole, then I suggest that you hand sew it. The technique is the same. I used the adhesive to stick this sleeve in here, but then I hand sewed this sleeve to the dress so there's no top stitching around here. But on this one, there already is top stitching, so I'll just sew it by machine. So, um, I will just stick this under here. And I've got the open-toed sewing machine foot on here because it will help me to see my line of stitching right here. So once I've got it all set up, it's actually pretty easy to go. So I'm gonna place my needle down right on top of the previous line of stitching. And then I'll sew forward. I'm going to back stitch just a little bit because I want this to be secure. And then my job is just to, as best I can, to sew on top of the previous line of stitching. And I'm just going to sew along. And since my sleeve wants to come out, I'm going to stick him back in as we go. So I'm just sewing right on top of that previous line of stitching. I tried to match the thread as best I could so that this is not going to show. Okay, and I'm almost to the edge of my sleeve here. stitch just a little bit and trim my threads and there we go we have a beautiful little sleeve and this little dress that was once sleeveless now has little cap sleeves